Who wants to live forever? It's often said that the only two certainties in life are death and taxes. The ultra-rich seem to have figured out how to avoid the tax part, so why not death too? There's still a lot we don't understand about why we grow old and die. But research into the hidden mechanisms of aging is opening up strategies that might help us postpone a visit from the Grim Reaper, or perhaps even put him out of business entirely. So, if you were a billionaire hoping to hack the biological clock, where would you start? Well, the first place to try would be an undetermined location off the coast of Maine. This is where George, one of the oldest lobsters ever recorded, is hopefully enjoying his 15th decade on planet Earth. His rescue sparked a fascinating conversation about aging. How is it that a humble crustacean boasts a lifespan that would make a neurotic tech entrepreneur green with envy? The answer lies with an enzyme called telomerase. Telomeres are repeating strings of DNA base pairs that can be found at the end of each of your chromosomes. At first, they don't really seem to do anything. They don't code for proteins, they don't switch genes on or off, and they don't regulate anything. But that's actually kind of the point. Since they don't do anything critical, it doesn't matter if a few chunks get shaved off during cell division. Telomeres are essentially your DNA cannon fodder, whose sole purpose is to protect your real genetic soldiers from being gunned down by the end replication problem during cell division. Every time your cells divide, your telomeres get shorter. And if they get too short, your precious genome could be at risk. The older we get, the shorter our telomeres get, and the more cells transition into senescence. But these zombie cells don't just sit there quietly minding their own business. They actively change the environment around them by releasing a noxious cocktail of signals and chemicals, ultimately triggering a chronic, low-level immune response that leads to persistent inflammation. And it's this slow burn immune activation that acts as a silent driver behind many of the diseases that we associate with aging. It's all a very complicated process, but the bottom line is this. Telomere shortening contributes to aging in humans and other animals, but not all animals. Because this is where George, the very old lobster's super secret weapon, comes into play. Since lobsters have an abundant supply of system-wide telomerase, they have largely eliminated telomere-related senescence and its associated aging effects. That goes at least some way to explaining why lobsters live so long and why they don't appear to slow down, weaken, or lose fertility with age. They aren't immortal, but they don't appear to die of old age like humans do.